Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, I wanted to answer the question, what is Deus Ex? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Deus Ex and have always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. And in the background of the video is going to be playing the trailer for the latest game in the franchise, uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. But I'm going to try and give us a, a brief overview of the entire series. Also, as part of the What Is series, I'm going to link to as many useful resources in the description box below, including to the official website, to the Wikipedia page of this trailer, and so on. But before we continue, a quick message from Past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, back to the video. So, Deus Ex is a series of role-playing video games. The first two games in the series were developed by Iron Storm, and subsequent entries were developed by Eidos Montreal following Iron Storm's closure. The series set during the 21st century focuses on the conflict between secretive factions who wish to control the world by proxy and the effects of transhumanistic um, attitudes and technologies in a dystopian future setting. The series consists of six games. There's Deus Ex, which came out in the year 2000, Deus Ex Invisible War that came out in 2003, Deus Ex Human Revolution that came out in 2011, Deus Ex of Fall that came out in 2013, Deus Ex Go, which I believe is a mobile app that came out in 2016, and Deus Ex Mankind Divided, which is what is shown on screen now, um, also in 2016. Um, the series has received critical acclaim and so far has sold more than 5 million units worldwide. So Deus Ex Machina literally translates to a god from a machine. So the idea is, is that uh, with each game, it has a distinct story, but they are all set within the same world, an earth of the future, which has evolved into a dystopian cyberpunk society. So it's, it's mentioned a lot, like with the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077, they emphasize a lot this idea of humans augmenting themselves with mechanical upgrades. Um, and this game features that a hell of a lot. So, uh, except it's 20 years earlier. <laughs> uh, several societies mentioned are shown, are inspired by real world and also invented secret societies and conspiracy theories. For the sake of YouTube um, demonetization, I'm not going to say any of them. So, uh, Deus Ex takes place during 2052. This is the first game in the franchise. While the world is facing a crisis caused by a mysterious nanovirus called the Grey Death, in the midst of the crisis, J.C. Denton is a nano-augmented rookie agent for the United Nations Coalition and is sent to eliminate the bad guys, but ends up drawn into various schemes of rival factions and secret societies. So the reason why I, I remember playing it in the year 2000 like 20 years ago. Um, the reason why I loved it so much is because of the choices that you were given. So for example, when you want to augment, let's say the feet of JC Zenton, you'd either have the choice of run silently or run super quick like you're Superman. Uh, so, but the choice you made was permanent. So it's a case of what fits your playstyle better. Also as well, different actions you could take throughout the game affect the narrative. It affects how other characters interact with you and so on, which is more the RPG elements. And it's the choice that these games give you. Uh, like you can either choose to go in through gunho and shoot everything and so on, but you'll probably not survive. Or you can choose to go through quietly. Also as well, you choose whether you want to be lethal or non-lethal. Like simply you can knock out enemies or you could just shoot them. So it's completely up to you. Um, but the also is the interesting twist is how the story goes down this line of, are you really working for the good guys? Are they in fact the bad guys in disguise? Or do they think they're good guys, but they're controlled by bad guys and so on? You know, there's a sort of moral questions of, is it right to do better to do the right thing for the wrong reason or to do the wrong thing for the right reason? You know, that, that sort of question that comes up a lot. So... Um, the Deus Ex franchise has got a really good idea and a really good world behind it, in case you've ever played the games. Um, but And that's the premise behind it. Deus Ex Machina literally translates it from Latin to a god from a machine. So you can see that the even the name of the game represents 
what it's about. And it's definitely a popular um, concept or topic because, as we say, Cyberpunk 2077, which I think nearly everyone is looking forward to, um, covers just that, about what moral questions, what could happen if humans are able to do this, if humans are able to augment themselves with machinery. So, um, like I said, guys, there is a lot of detail because there's a lot of games. So, please check out the resources I've linked in the description box below about the different games. You can read about them in case you've ever played or heard about the Deus Ex franchise, but you never really delved into it. And um, check it out. Also, if you have played the games, let me know in those comments down below what you think of it. Like, what do you like about it? What you do not like? You know, how do you find things? How did, did you find it fascinating or not fascinating? You know, I really want to share your experience. But it's also the reason why I'm doing this What Is series is just to raise awareness of really, really great games and great stories. Because the way I see these games is like, they're like, to me, interactive storybooks. So I didn't really read many books when I was growing up. But I always had gaming as a medium that allowed me to still experience amazing works of uh, fiction um in a real sort of visual way <laughs> because i'm definitely a visual based learner so yeah so uh, let me know again guys what you think of the deus ex franchise um have you paid attention to it uh let me know i really want to know what you feel and uh just so you know as well um uh, the original deus ex was conceived by warren specter in 1994 under the working title Troubleshooter. Warren Spector was actually the director of System Shock, which I covered on the What Is series yesterday. So uh, it's basically when you have really good creative people behind the game, it doesn't matter the technology of the time it's released. Like, it's still going to be a great game regardless. So, um, and I would, I really feel that Deus Ex is one of those gems not to be ignored. Simple as that. So, yeah, and there is a lot of really interesting uh, facts about, you know, who the people are behind the game, the companies, which ones still function, who moved from which company to which company, and so on. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.